All right, we are live. Here we go. Sweet. <laughs> Let's do it. Well, welcome everybody to Discover Discover Possibility Series. Here in the Discover Possibility Series, what I'm trying to do is provide you guys a resource essentially that can help you guys discover possibilities in your life and determine the, the mindset, the drive that you need to go ahead and change your life and how you do that. So with that being said, I would like to introduce somebody that I have known. I met him probably almost a decade ago, uh, and I've been in touch with him for a while. He has been, um, I've admired him from afar. <laughs> that is for sure. I have, I've watched him through Facebook and watched him through Instagram. I watched him grow just like I have. We both went through a lot of personal stuff. So it was, it was really good to see him change the way he did. So ultimately, what I wanted to do, I wanted to bring him on this channel, have him share his story with you guys, and and see the dramatic change he's had, not only in his health, but in business-wise, right? He's made a completely 180, and I, I find that truly inspiring, and that's why I wanted to bring him on the channel. So with that being said, I'd like to do, introduce uh, Sean Gorham here. And Sean, can you tell uh, everybody who is Sean Gorham? <laughs> Sean Gorham. I'm a dad first. Um, I'm a personal trainer. I really, I'm a CEO, high which is I'm a CEO of the Fifth L Plus, and you know I really enjoy helping people change their lives. That's me. <laughs> now it's, uh, it's it's like I said, it's been truly inspiring to uh, watch you change people's lives. But not only that, to see you change your own life, and I've I've seen the pictures, and I must say they're they're quite impressive with. Uh, the feet essentially that you came over to to get healthy, right? Can you uh, essentially let everybody know how you you transformed your health? Perhaps uh, give us a little this little setup on where you're coming from and how you found your way back to health. All right, cool. Uh, I guess we go all the way back to high school. I always played sports and stuff like that. Um, I started working telecom. I was in the telecom field for a while. The last job I was on. I truly say, I know we'll get into that. It was the only job that I could say I, I like truly hated my, I didn't like it. I really I wasn't happy there at all. Like every day it was just a task, just waking up, just going in. And so eventually I was on a job. Uh, a lot of the jobs there were rushed. I was on a job, I fell off a 12 foot ladder. When I fell off the 12 foot ladder, a lot of things happened. Um, <laughs> when I initially fell, I couldn't feel anything below like below my knees, below my waist, actually. So that was really scary. And I was hearing uh, a guy ask me to wiggle my toes and wiggle my fingers. And I had already started that before then. So uh -huh. the the odd part was I, I was laying there and I was thinking like, man, I know I didn't just get paralyzed. Like that's what I, that's what I was feeling. And um. Long story short, it was the trauma of everything, but I had a lot of things wrong with from my L1 to my L5. I had torn ligaments. I had a, a disc herniation on one side. I had a, a disc bulge on my right side, actually, and I had a herniation on my left side. The, the one that was herniated was sitting on my sciatic nerve, so it was running down my leg, so I was having problems walking. And I got to the highest weight I had ever been in my life. 260 pounds and wow. just the road to that was uh was very challenging i couldn't walk when i finally started to walk i couldn't walk a straight line and that frustrated me because i went to therapy one day and they had me walk a four by four and i couldn't stay on it and um wow that that began the process basically of me just not just working out but also understanding the body more the anatomy and, and how to help myself heal and rehab and that was the beginning of that so would you say that uh you know essentially hitting rock bottom right what really drove you to want to fix your current situation i mean what honestly did, man uh, were they telling you that you'd be able to walk again i mean was that something that crossed your mind so i went to the doctor and um, first of all, I, I, I quote unquote have a high pain tolerance, but this thing was like, it really, it was nagging. And, um, I, but when I went to the doctor, the doctor gave me like a little cane, will tell me about the cane and stuff like that. And he said, uh, I asked him, so, you know, how long am I supposed to have this? 
And in his words, he didn't say it directly, but it sounded like forever, right? Oh, so wow. I was like, oh man. So I remember I told my mother what, what had been said and she told me, um, she just said, you know, you're too young for that. <laughs> and cause I had this little sad face, you know, I probably wanted a hug or something. My mother, my mother was not like that. And she, was like, <laughs> she was like, well, uh, so I said, yeah, she said, so what you want to do? So that was the beginning of the challenge. And also just, I wanted to get it together because of, I mean, I've been doing the same telecom work for so many years and I'm like, man, I don't know what I'm going to do. My kids drove me, just them looking at me and trying to be that example of wanting to be that example. That's what drove me a, a long way. Just thinking about everything I has, may have said to them about not giving up and stuff like that. So now I had to eat my own words and still doing it. <laughs> yeah, definitely fine. That's, that's something I've, I've even come across too, right? It's setting an example yeah. and that could, that could be a powerful motivator. And from this point, right, you've, you set, you're trying to set the example for your, for your, your boys, right? It's just your boys. Yeah. And so you coming from this standpoint, where, where would a person start, right? Like, okay, you want to, you have the motivation to start, but you said you were learning about the anatomy. Uh, you're trying to learn about your body better. Um, how did you go about that process? Um, uh, I picked up a few certificates, but what I would tell somebody is educate yourself, man. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you, you definitely have to educate yourself. And, uh, also if you need help and you have the people there around you to help, go get it. <laughs> you know, you can, yeah, you, can you can eliminate a lot, a lot of stress if you have that help. Um, and then also just the thing is I've learned is to learn how to through the process. I'm not saying I was thinking that then is you almost you expect good things, but you prepare for things that may not be good because <laughs> you always got to be ready to like endure, persevere. That's like the biggest thing I've learned. Like I remember at times uh, being stubborn, thinking like, OK, now nah, I'm better now and I'll go do uh, exercise, I go to the gym and do things I shouldn't do. Then I'm set back all the way again. So that's the depressing part. That's the part that's frustrating when you feel like, man, I, it's just not happening. Eating into depression, you know, peach cobblers all the time. That was one of the ways I got big, man. <laughs> so when you, when you were doing this, right, when you were um, trying to work your way back, you said you could have a couple setbacks in there. Is that how how far how long did it take you to get back to like walking and to like actually starting to see our results again when you were when you're working your way back with, with all these this keeping this mindset trying to to push through and persevere through all this stuff how how long did it take you to get to that point to where you started seeing results and again you were able to start walking again well when you say walking walking without the pain or just well i mean it, you still have pain now or how is no, it now I'm now, I mean, I'm like a lot better, bro. Like, I mean, here and there, maybe something may, you know, I might feel a little something, but I, I walk without any pain. I, I don't walk with a limp or anything like that. But uh, it was so bad that when I, I guess, to start walking, the initial trauma, it, it only took a few months, but then it was still the pain. And yeah. it was like, I could step on a rock and hurt myself just because the sudden movement. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, it, now, have you felt like, um, I know we briefly talked about this before we came on the stream, but uh, you said you started uh, picking up plant-based a little bit. You're a little bit plant-based now. Do you, yeah. Is that correct? Is that something yeah. that uh, you feel is, is helping you the more you're leaning towards that way? Or, I mean, um, in your how, how much... Does your diet, do you feel, has really helped you along with this transition with the pain? Man, my diet is is really helped me because, you know, a lot of foods will inflame you. So yeah. uh, plant-based was definitely a help. Um, I'm still working on I'm not where you at yet, bro. But, uh, <laughs> what, what I have, I watch what's, what I eat. And mm -hmm. not thinking about how I look, thinking about what it does to my body. You know, once you build a certain lifestyle and you see how you're supposed to feel.
compared to how you feel. Because <laughs> sometimes we walk around in so much pain and ailments, we think it's natural. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, see, that's the thing I've, I've even found with a plant based diet, because I've been on it for three years now, is that I used to have the inflammation really bad in my, in my joints and my back. And I was similar in your issue. I didn't have uh, the accident, but I was have the lower back pain. I had pulled my back uh, many years before even uh, we had met. Mm -hmm. And I was having that information that if I stepped wrong or whatever, my back would go out as well. Mm -hmm. But I found that this the plant based diet has made a tremendous difference and helped me out. Um, but I'm 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 that I'm that's that same field, right? I don't I'm not pushing plant based or anything like that. But the thing is, is I'm saying uh, it makes a difference, and I go off the way I feel, like you said, and I think that's important um, because there's a world of difference if you go off of the way you feel as a, as opposed to the way you look. Would you agree with that? Yeah, I definitely agree. Uh, aesthetics is one thing. How you feel. It's a totally different thing at times, um, you know, within fitness or what you may see online at times, it becomes so vain and people forget about just feeling good, like their body without the pain, how exercise and eating correctly can help your stress, your mental. That's a big thing. Well, that, well, that's another big thing, too, right, is we're talking about feeling. Um, have you felt like your diet has really impacted uh your mind and the way you, your clarity and, and the way you think definitely uh my food uh what i feed myself physically and what i feed myself spiritually and mentally because you know it's a big thing like just really putting something on your mind so mm -hmm. definitely so you feel that that mind body connection is there right yeah i mean it's, it's always a work in progress now but uh well, yeah, it's, uh, most definitely. Yeah, it's always you always like you said you always got to prepare, right, to be able to yeah. uh, to get what you where you want and always aim for the worst and hope for the best, right, kind of thing. Because one of the things I do want to relate to people is, um, on, I always hashtag real people, real results. I just want people to know the reality of things. Sometimes mm -hmm. we see the beginning and we see the end, but nothing in between. Mm -hmm. And the process is when you really grow, you know that's when you really develop all these different characteristics and things like that. So I, I kind of, at times I, I want to show people like, okay, look, you're going to feel like this sometimes, man. <laughs> yeah. It, it, it's a part of life. Yeah. It's not always, it's not always, you're not always a hundred percent, you know, ready to roll. It's, it's not the way it works. Yeah. yeah. People say, always... you love working out. <laughs> yeah, sometimes. <laughs> yeah. That's not the case every day, but yeah. <laughs> I, I love yeah, so... it. The results that it yields and what it does for me i do that but do i always just want to do it no you know sometimes i just want to sit in the house man <laughs> yeah yeah that's i'm on that same camp right you, you gotta push through it sometimes no matter what and yep. you know you made that commitment to yourself right and that's why you do it so yep so with that being said with health um so you are are better to a point right what, at what point did you decide to to start a business where where did that uh play to this whole thing it's kind of funny like before um this i would like do it part-time but you know telecom was like my money maker so that was more so it wasn't my passion but it was how i was able to take care of my family mm -hmm. um, i don't know if you remember the job was that doing pull-ups I don't know if you remember. Oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I do remember that. Early in the morning. So it was always like a passion of mine, but you know, it's not like the thing that you're supposed to do on a job. Um, yeah. What made me do it is like, I, as I was, you know, rehabbing myself, and then I would talk to some people and I would help some people out. And they would tell me, like, you know, you're really good at this. And I'm like, yeah, you know, because how we view <laughs> ourselves and how other people view us is always different. I'm like, uh, yeah. Know, yeah, it's good to get that confirmation sometimes yeah yeah that's enough positive people is sometimes we all need that it's just you know mm -hmm. and so i i went to i went and did a few jobs telecom wise and i remember one day i had to go in the crawl space and my back like seized when i was dead oh man and i was like oh man so i, I made it out but it was so painful right <laughs> and i remember just thinking like I don't know if you could do this anymore. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't even know if you should. Is it worth it? Like, what is it going to look like for me five, ten years from now? I'm just going to have a hurt back and, you know, because I've worked. I mean, I know you're saying I've seen guys that work in our field and they just always banged up. They hurt. 
you know, oh, I yeah. didn't want to be that. Um, yeah, it was always exciting to be uh, to first get into it because you're like, I got a job that's physical, and then when you get a little bit older, that's not the case anymore. Yeah, the way it's said, <laughs> it's just compromised positions. You know how it is. Yeah. And um, so I had I was talking to people, and I said, okay, I need to plan. And I said, I went and worked at a local gym just for to understand the business better. Mm-hmm. And I made the least amount of money <laughs> than since I hadn't made since 1999 or something like that. Like, so mm-hmm. it was like, that was challenging. Um, that so was great. What, help, what helped you uh, keep pushing? I know you were talking about being in that crawl space. And so you knew at that point that you had to make a change. You got your foot in the door. You're just trying to learn the business, right? What, mm-hmm. uh, at what point did you, you start opening uh, Fit for Health Plus and, and start pushing? Were you working towards the, the certifications, right, to be able to get there? When I was working in the gym, I was uh, working on cert- certifications. Uh, my son, before I even had got, he said to me, he said, Dad, um, when I get older, I want to be a trainer like you. And I don't know, it hit me like a ton of bricks. I was like, and I looked at him and I said, well, if you were a trainer, you'll be a lot better than me, okay? <laughs> but then it just, it was my youngest. It just reminded me of how they watch me. Mm-hmm. And I from then on, I was just like, man, I'm going to do this. I don't look, I really, the thing is, I didn't have all the answers. I didn't know how I was going to do it, but I knew I was going to do it. And it just, I, I always tell people that for real to make any change or do anything, you, you got to like first put yourself in the game. You can't just think about mm-hmm. it. Just got to do it and be willing to make mistakes, get back up, deal with all the, you know, whatever may come with it. But it's a commitment. Like once you commit to something, you'll be a lot better off, you know? Yeah, I've always talked about that, that uh, that ready, fire, aim, right? You just got to get get yourself in the game. You got to start the ball running, that momentum ball, essentially, yeah. uh, to build up the momentum and keep it going. Um, so, so when did you say you started the business itself? Maybe this is like 2014 or 15. I would have to check exactly. Okay. Um, so I you've, been, say- you've been doing good. Yeah, I will say this. In between, I do want to tell this part. Just, you know, because we're talking about health and fitness, we're talking about business. But in between, you know, I was getting workman's comp, all that kind of, that good stuff, or not good stuff. You know, you kind of get paid whenever you get paid. Mm-hmm. And so I was uh, living in an apartment, and I was just trying to cut bills the best way I could. So, of course, rental insurance. Who needs that? <laughs> Who <laughs> yeah. you think, right? <clears throat> Yeah. And um, I was out and I was getting a call and they called me and told me that my neighbor's unit had caught on fire and it damaged a little bit of my stuff, but not really. So they was like, well, you, you know, they let me come in that night and get something. They said, well, we'll, it was a Thursday. And they said, well, you should be in back in by Tuesday. Tuesday turned in like a week or two, then a week or two. And it just kept going to the point they could them the building. Wow. And, they told me, well, you know, if you have renters insurance, it'd be no problem, you know. <laughs> and the only thing I could think is like I didn't pay it. So that was like uh, in the midst of making l- less money, or in the workman's comp situation, and that's one of the reasons. Let me back up. That's one of the reasons I had to go to the gym. It was just a lot of things, um, mm-hmm. but I couldn't. I had to move back with my mother. I'm big, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I always say, look. I lost my apartment, I lost my girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to start all over. But um, you know, when you at that point though, it's like where are you gonna go? Either you're gonna stay down or you know, or you just gonna get back up. And that's it. So I tell myself that stuff all the time. That's why sometimes if people watch like my Instagram or anything, and I'm I'm listening to books and stuff like that, because that's what I'm doing. Like it's I feel like you always have to be really mentally tough. It always starts in your, all in your mind. Yeah, I've always believed that the, the world can be a pretty cold place and you got to be able to be your own cheerleader, be your own hype man. You got to be there for yourself first uh, to be able to pull yourself through, through a lot of it. And, and another thing is just like, what I learned is um, 
don't be don't get angry when people around you don't quote unquote support you because it's your dream it was given to you and they usually can't see it until you do it so it's not on them it's just on you it's not can't even get mad at them um if you let somebody steal something from you that was given to you that's your problem just mm -hmm. being accountable you know so what would be the the greatest piece of advice is essentially for anybody i know you did touch on some things but what would be the greatest piece of advice for someone trying to start a business do it <laughs> Make a plan and just do it. Like I always say that all the time. Listen, it's going to be a whole lot of things where you think, well, man, well, maybe this, maybe that. Make a plan and simplify it. It doesn't have to be so extravagant. You have your long-term goals, your short-term goals, and you break them up into different things, daily goals, weekly goals, and stuff like that. And you just walk it out, but you do it. Once you didn't thought about it and wrote it down, and had, don't wait. Just do it. Make a sacrifice. And, if you feel like, well, I don't have the money to do this, don't go out to eat. <laughs> sacrifice yeah, something. I definitely agree with that. Now, do you, uh, now where you're at now with your business, you are opening a gym now? Yeah, that's, that's in the works, man. Um, I'm pretty excited about that. I want to be able to get uh, my full vision into the gym to put things on the wall, different quotes and stuff like that. And um, that's what's, in the works now just had a client that was she weighed her highest weight was 262 pounds and she just won her she just competed in her first competition got two first place and one second place so that was pretty awesome um i i, I honestly i want to say this <clears throat> that's a highlight but all my clients they do really well and i'm, I'm proud of them so big shout out to y'all y'all watching y'all awesome <laughs> y'all help motivate me now this is uh whoops this is your site here uh yeah. fit for health and uh let me see if i can scroll down here sorry my uh thing here kind of messed up so this is you this is your transformation here yes sir that's me it's it's one inspiring transformation that's for sure i can, I can tell you that i know especially coming from uh being that the person that I've I've changed uh, and lost quite a bit of weight myself, so I mean to see that is, is definitely inspiring another person and, and, and to see your drive. And then this is the uh, the young lady you're talking about here. This one here is she is she the one that just won? Is that correct? Yeah, yeah. If you scroll, I don't know if it's still. If you scroll down, oh man. Um... If you, I don't know, can you click on that from there? You can go to the page. I don't know if that works. Scroll down to where the Instagram videos are. Oh, you're talking about here? Yeah. Let's see. Does it let you click? Oh. Because those pictures, I have to update it, but those, I mean, still, even in the black, that's a heck of a transformation, but. Right here. Oh, I can't see it. Can you see my, I don't know if you can see my screen actually. I can't see it. Um. Well, it's all right. I mean, um, yeah, if you want to go ahead and talk about uh, the transformation you helped her with. Yeah, basically like when she came to me, she, she had hit a, a big plateau. You know, most people feel like they got a cardio their way to weight loss and fat loss or whatever. But um, I tell people, I'm not against cardio. I'm not one of those guys. I, I, I like cardio. I do cardio. But, you know, you have to have a resistant program also. Because what will happen is, you know, when you're losing, if you're just, that's why, first of all, you can't let the scale be your determining factor. Because what happens is, while you're doing all the cardio, like I call them cardio kings, queens, you do so much, you're not only killing your fat, you're killing muscle. So mm -hmm. it's almost like it's it's hustling backwards because what's happening is muscle helps boost your metabolism and you're just killing it. And and you get what you call, uh, I call it the turkey shape. <laughs> you do excessive cardio and then you got like a lot of saggy skin. So like if you check her out, that's one of the reasons because we saw resistance training. That's one of the reasons her skin is not sagging. She hasn't had any surgery or anything like that. So I, I recommend that 
with all my clients, I, I also tell people, if you're expecting like this uh, crazy weight loss, 90 pounds in 90 days, I'm not the person. Cause I don't promote that, you know? <laughs> yeah. Uh, going through my own experience. I know that it's not to be true. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good, but man, yeah. Anything, yeah. I'm not, I'm not one for the, the, the quick fix. That, that doesn't, uh, the hard work. If, if, you, can do it, yeah. if yeah. you can do it, you, it won't last mm -hmm. because which, whatever you did is not sustainable. You did something really crazy. Yeah. That's how I look at it. Um, so, you know, just with her, a lot of all my clients, what we work on, it's it's a it's a mental thing. I don't know. It's just it's it's a real big mental. If you can get a person can to think a certain way, the body's gonna follow. So I do try to explain to my clients like you know um, why they're doing certain things. You find certain things that motivate them, and you you say it to them while they're working out. You know, it's a I really it's funny. This thing right here gives you for me. It's a purpose like. It's, it's really honestly self-gratifying seeing somebody who didn't even believe that they could be one. They only started off wanting to lose weight or a flat stomach, which everybody says. And then just yeah. to see them like supersede their goals and see the confidence go up, that's a big thing. Because I know my self-esteem, it, it's, man, when I got big, it was, I was struggling, man. Like, for real, like, yeah, you put on, you, man. Yeah, <laughs> I was you there. Put on stuff and, and you yeah. learned, like, and you think it's the clothes. It's not the clothes. <laughs> <laughs> I agree with you, man. It's definitely not the clothes. I've been there. I've been exactly yeah. there. <laughs> I went, I was uh, at my nephew's party. Somebody took a picture and I was like um, doing something. And when I saw it, I was like, man, that can't be me. That can't be me. I'm yeah, like, that's when it clicks. Like, man, I, I got to check myself and do something yeah. about it. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, so. So we're going towards the end of of this uh, recording, but I, I wanted to hit you with a couple last minute questions uh, with the, your whole journey, you know, with the weight loss, the business. Uh, obviously, you're doing fantastic. You're inspiring tons. You're in, you're changing people's lives, which is amazing. Uh, this whole journey. Uh, what is the single greatest lesson that you've learned out of this whole journey? <laughs> to keep going. Honestly, just keep going. Um, always aim to get better. Don't get too comfortable with what's going on. It just like it's it's all about perseverance. Like I, I, I tell people all the time, you don't have to have it all figured out, man. You just gotta stop. You gotta you just gotta go. You gonna you gonna learn some things along the way, and that's cool. And being humble and just I always say in my business, I think any business. I don't think about numbers anymore. I just think about how many people I help. And that's what keeps everything going. Just think about helping, helping, helping. What is your purpose? Yeah, definitely. Um, and then last, one of the last things I have here is uh, advice for anyone who wants to make a change in their life. If they wanted to get healthy or they wanted to, um, start a business now i know you said just just get started is uh where where should they look to get started so a lot of places um for me honestly i, I always say time is money mm -hmm. so like uh for me to get my business license i i went through i don't know if i can name drop or whatever but i went through a company even though people say man you know sean you know you do that yourself but it was taking me too long so yeah. you know Take out procrastination. Take out negative people. If you want to make a change, start day by day. Don't think so far along in a sense. Just get your, you know, celeb your, your small your, your small celebrations. All right, today I did good. The next day, set small goals, get them. And then as you write those goals down and you look at them, it, it gives you a momentum. Because if you don't do that, a lot of times you may be doing a lot. Mm -hmm. but you will feel like you're not doing anything and then you stop or, or you might get off task. If you just write them things down and just keep on going. Yeah. I talk about that a lot. Just having the unseen progress, right? Like you can't track it unless you're actually tracking it, whether that's yeah. through pictures or through a journal or something like that. Yeah, definitely. And uh, weight loss, I would tell people or 
change in body composition, take pictures, please. Pictures, <laughs> yeah, totally. pictures and measurements. Do uh -huh. not step on the scale to the reward you because that's not the scale doesn't tell everything. So yeah. really take your pictures and, and for all the people I will say this who say I just want to get rid of my stomach. This is one of the things my clients they laugh at and I said, do me a favor, take a picture of your back. Know that it's it's an overall thing. You're not gonna crunch your way through it. You know, it's a, it's just like life. You just gotta go through the process and, and get stronger and get better day by day. Well, Sean, I want to thank you for coming on today. I appreciate you coming on and sharing your story uh, with your, your weight loss, your business, and uh, sharing that with everybody. I'm sure everybody will be very appreciative of that, uh, giving your perspective, uh, showing other people possibilities that are out there. Where can people uh, reach you if they want to get a hold of you? Well, uh, Instagram with well, a company, let's see, Fit for Health Plus. Dot com is also, but it's fit for health is spelled the plus is spelled out because so you can reach me directly there from the website. From the website, you can click on to my Instagram. Um, I'm found on all social, well, I'm found on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and of course, the website. The west website is the easiest way to, to get in contact with me, though. Fantastic, and I'll actually leave all that stuff down in the description below so you guys can get a hold of Sean. And again, Sean, thank you very much for coming on. And for everybody out there, uh, go out and make a change. Like Sean said, right? Just, just get in motion and start doing it. And you'll work out the details later. Yep. So thank you, everybody. And I will see you guys later. Thank you, Marcus. <laughs> for sure, brother.